this here has specs that can make it a Surface Pro killer. Hello everyone, it's Keyboard and Tech Guy here with another video, and today I'm gonna be looking at something that I just happened to stumble upon, and it can be considered a Surface Pro killer, yes, and it's the V by Eve, the EV. A 2 in 1 starting at just $799. Coincidence. Same starting price as the 2017 Surface Pro. But the question is is it com able to compete against the Surface Pro? So I guess I'll go give you the specs and features of what this thing is. But the question is what is this company that made this product? Well, the company name is Eve. And the EV is the first crowd source product. Yes, it's the first product that is crowd built, community built by requests that came from the community like more RAM, good battery life, and all these things. And we're able to bring those ideas into this lovely looking two in one. But, anywho, let's start getting into the features and specs. So it has some good reviews from Laptop Mac and Indiegogo and trusted reviews but let's see if I'll give a positive response on this also. It's a crowd developed product. So these are from requests from various uh, users in the community and so forth as they show you here. But anyways, you can look at those if you want on the website. But I'm here for the features and specs. Now more power. Somebody requested that this thing would have had more power. And so what it did was give it more performance when as such a slick body like for gamers, all of that. It's it's just all wrong built and it has a uh, hinge binge watchers that that couldn't tolerate lag speed so those are the requests that this person gave so give it super chill cooling so it cools very efficiently and it has a battery that lasts all day as they're claiming whereas to it has a 40 watt hour battery which can give you up to 9 hours and 56 minutes which is good for the average person on daily usage and this is uh, close as just as compared close to what the Surface Pro offers already and for pixels you get a 4990 by 464 pixels whereas too it's the LCD panel and it has color accuracy by giving you some good accurate colors and it's anti-reflection and we all have that peeve against reflection displays so I like the fact that it has a reflective coating and plus also it's crack resistant with corning grey glass covering it and it has a sleek design which in giving it uh, a portability for a hint support which gives it a scavatinian design where it has a hinge that can be extended for somewhere about 135 degrees or so forth and it's just 0.89 cm thin and it has beautiful materials such as friction glass and blasted aluminum giving it cotton on the type so make it a tablet no laptop so you have the option to use it with the keyboard or with just a tablet so it connects the keyboard magnetically but it has laptop class hardware such as 7 gen or cable lake into whole processors with tablet versatility and a built-in kickstand so it has ports such as usb 2 usb type c usb 3.0 or use or a full size usb which is good enough to use i mean at least it has more ports than a macbook pro <laughs> apple i hope you're listening and it also has a built-in thinking sensor integrated on the home button and it has 
uh, two far-field microphones and speakers. Plus also, you can get with a stylus given the pressure levels of just over 1024 and it's called the deep pen. And you can use it stuff like Windows Ink, OneNote, whatever it is. And as I said earlier, you can get it with a keyboard that is very slim and neat and it's totally a plug you just can't take my magnetically and plus it has backlighting not a lot of, I don't think I've ever actually seen a tablet or a two in one keyboard with backlighting as this as you can see you can customize it to your own colors and it uses Alcantara fabric they're truly trying to compete with Microsoft here in the and it has no bloatware. The important thing, it has no bloatware. So with such performance, not a lot of people like bloatware. So unlike some Windows tablets or tablets in general that come in bloatware, this doesn't have that. So and it's built very strong. And those basically it. So it's giving you a comparison of it versus the 2017 Surface Pro. And also the Surface Laptop of all things it versus the base model which is the core i5 surface pro and the base model core i5 surface laptop even the dell xps 13 i and i including the new yahweh madebook e and the madebook e is not even out for sales yet and they compare it to many many other popular two-in-one and what do we get with this features? Well, we get Cave Lake into Core M3 Sunday by 30. We get an i5 Sunday 7 y 54 and an i7 7 y 75. We get what 8 and 16 gigs of LPDR3 RAM. You can choose between 128, 256, and 512 gigs of SSD. And also connectivity, you have a C2.4 with 5 GHz, a 2x2 MU memo, and Bluetooth 4.2 with microcast wireless display. Ports, you have two full size USB 3.0, and one USB 3.0 uh, Type C. You have one third board USB uh, Type C, and a headphone jack, which is something we have to mention, Jack. And a micro SD card reader. The display is 12.3 inches LCD type with resolution of 2736 by 1824, giving a contrast ratio of 1 to 14 with 1450 nits of brightness. The display has quantum grid glass, it's anti reflection coating, and not much technology. 48 watt hour battery with fingerprint sensor, hall, gravity and light and gyroscope sensor. It is quad speakers with two noise cancellation microphones and the camera is just 2 megapixels on the front and 5 megapixels on the rear. Which doesn't really quite matter since the camera is something not going to be using a lot in the 2 in 1. The dimensions give it 8.9mm thickness, a width of 205.3mm and a height of 295 mm 9mm and get it with either Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Pro. And so that is it for the features and specs of this Eve V21 and it just starts at $799 which is pretty good as compared to other 2 in ones on devices that cost around this price. So tell me what you think about the EV uh, in the comments like if you find it interesting share this video also and i will see y'all in the next one